This is Life Pod 2, coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I feel like I've already found that one before. Did you know the area that it's at, I was actually thinking about building a new base there. I don't know if I got any titanium on me though. Or well, these are all just about cleared out. I wasn't planning on sticking around in this base too long, so it's starting to get to be a little bit of a mess. I don't know how I got all of these extra tools. I picked them up out of time capsules or something like that. Uh, let's drop off some of this junk. Oh, while I'm there, I might finally find some lithium, too. I uh, got my prawn suit since the last time I streamed, and I'm trying to get the grappling hook on it, and for some reason I can't find any lithium now. Uh, what can I drop? Let's get rid of you. 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 Place you in there. Uh, well, I don't need that much inventory space. Er, no, I don't want to pilot you. I want... Well, actually... There it is. There it is. doing good. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do before I go? I need more decoy tubes. Oh, what new? Oh, I got the new artifact, or tablet, whatever it's called. Three titanium and a wiring kit. I can take care of that pretty easy. Just enough silver. Love it when that happens. Everything else off. Oops. This will probably drive people nuts, but it saves a whole lot of power by driving slowly and, well, I don't like pulling out batteries all the freaking time to recharge. Freaking Cyclops is a power hog, even with the, uh, 
even with the module installed to uh, make it less of one. Well, should be fun. Mushroom Forest. Pretty sure is where it's located at. I've been wanting to uh, build like a base up in one of those mushroom trees. There's actually right by that life pod is a uh, particularly big one that I wanted to build my base on top of. Just because I figured it'd look cool and it's actually uh, pretty close by to a, another area that I'm starting to explore, one of the uh, entrances to the Lost River. And the Mushroom Forest doesn't actually seem to have that many, like, Leviathans or anything. I think, though, it does have those, uh, Amp Eels, as they're called, which are a little bit of a pain in the ass. the ampules they're super friggin slow so they're not that hard to avoid haven't been to this one, as I don't think it was under the floating islands. Or the underwater islands, my bad. Yeah, they're a type of floating island. They got the floaters on them. That's the entrance to the Lost River right there that I was talking about. However, I'm not sure if I noticed that life pod. I guess I'll find out when I go in there and find anything. Oh, PDA. Oh, PDA I've already got. So yeah, I've been here before. It sucks, it doesn't have a data box around it. Need some of that. Picking up all this uraninite, because sooner or later I'm going to make a nuclear reactor, but I want to save it for whenever I build my new base, because I'm not want to deconstruct it right away. It's the alien AA gun. Hmm. Hey, go down. Alright, 
So I'm actually gonna take it back to base now, cause, uh, I actually found a, uh, area sealed off by a, uh, I'm pretty sure it was a purple artifact. I'm gonna bring the orange one just to be safe, cause I did find it in the, uh, Degasi base just near it. I had to get the hell out of there really fast, though, as I was about to die of dehydration. But, uh, it was just like a sealed off area. I think it's usually just a place where you can get some ion cubes from, but I've been collecting the cubes. I can't remember what exactly. I know you can use them to make the artifacts, but I'm pretty sure there's other items that you can craft out of them. And I'm just trying to stockpile up a bunch of them. If nothing else, they're good for opening up teleporters and stuff. Other than that, though, it's probably going to be the uh, least exciting part of the uh, stream today. Running on slow speed definitely works well, though. I mean, I think this is like my second or third lap going from my base to this way, just holding slow speed, and I've only been through 14% of my total charge. And there was a little bit more than just that going on, too, because I did try to go down into the Lost River, but I ended up getting all tangled up in there. I'm not very good at piloting the Cyclops, and then there was a Ghost Leviathan down there, too, which kept on messing with me, and I didn't want to risk blowing up my Cyclops just because it'd be such a pain to make a new one. I already have had to rebuild my Seamoth, like, three or four times now, just because there's some Reaper Leviathans that just... They just didn't want me to have a good time. And then uh, whenever I finally managed to rebuild my Seamoth completely and get all of the upgrades and stuff back into it, I didn't realize that when you park the Seamoth inside of the Cyclops and then you dive to a depth deeper than the Seamoth can handle, it'll actually blow up the Seamoth inside of the Cyclops too. So, that was the fourth and final time my Seamoth has been destroyed, and hopefully it'll stay the final time. I've been being much more careful with it, because that was a pain in the ass, rebuilding it over and over and over again. Well, you know, I forgot to even look. I still need lithium. I was planning on looking while I was down there, because that's usually a good spot for some lithium. Oh well. Uh, please don't drag ass. Oh, I'm dragging a little bit. Or, well, I've been dragging ass. Just don't drag my ass across the bottom. You all know what I meant. Man, that always sounds so scary. I kind of regret, uh, building my base in this area just because there's so many sand sharks, and sand sharks are just fucking awful. So I'm gonna just park right here for a moment. I'm gonna take my Seamoth out and try to find that goddamn lithium so that way I can upgrade my Cyclops a little bit. Or my, uh, Prawn a little bit. It's funny, before my problem was actually finding Magnetite, and now I've actually almost got more Magnetite than what I know to do with. Now suddenly Lithium doesn't want to appear anywhere. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. I always go down in that hole. I don't know why. I just like that hole in particular. Let's 
save real quick just because I do not want to rebuild my fucking Seamoth again. Come on, give me lithium. Oh. Have I been here before? Yeah, I think I've already checked this place out. Maybe? Yeah, there's not even an entrance into it. I feel like I've seen it before, though. Or, is that a way in? Just make sure there's no reapers around that are gonna come and pick on my... Maybe I haven't. Cause... Block. I wish there was a way to make those. Wait, is that really it? Just a nutrient block and a couple of hats? Well, ain't that some shit. I guess it's kind of realistic and all, but I really wish that they didn't have these just empty, useless things half the time. Like, yeah, not everything's gonna have something useful in it, but at the same time, it's like... I went through that effort, I feel like it deserves something. another message on the radio. That was fast. Yeah, fuck you. I probably shouldn't have wasted that on a freaking sand shark, but I just... Really, really hate those bastards. Oh, is that lithium? That's lithium. Just check and see if there's any more around here, because I do need some more. Like, primarily I just want it to uh, do that grappling hook, but there's some other upgrades too that I need it for. Can grab some rubies too, just because I need a lot of those for my upgrades. Don't be defecating all over my sub, man. It's not cool. There's a lot of rubies in these areas, but 
There's also a lot of the gastropods around them, and the gastropods aren't very friendly. I've uh, not been caught in their uh, spray yet, but I've seen people who have been caught in them, and that acid or poison or whatever it is really carves through you quickly. At the same time, I do want to try to pick up some of those pods so I can make them into torpedoes, because the vortex... Is this the edge of the map? I think this is the edge of the map. Dead zone or whatever they call it. Oh, I'm not trying to go down, I'm trying to go up. Yeah, you can create, like, toxic torpedoes out of the gastropod pouches. I think that's the way to fight off some leviathans. I just gotta get used to her, I gotta figure out how to aim them up properly. The torpedoes move so goddamn slow. You gotta try to hit those really long, snaky uh, targets. Yep, not going that way. Places. Nope, silver. I don't think you get the uh, big ore deposits of lithium. I don't think I've ever seen one before. Which kind of sucks, but at the same time, if you're looking in the right places, you can usually find plenty of it on the walls. Ooh, what is that? Have I scanned that yet? Are you fucking with me? No, you bastard! This is what these fuckers do to me. I turn around for a fucking second and they come up and grab my seam off. I hate the freaking Reapers more than anything else, just because that's exactly what they do. Is they won't even mess with me while I'm in my seam off. They'll wait until I get out to, like, check something out, and then they'll grab onto it and destroy it. And that's why I've got, like, the shock thing on it, so that way if they do grab onto it while I'm in it, I can just shock them off and they'll drop it. But I can't do that if I'm not in it. How do I make a new one? I don't even remember how to make a new one. I might not even bother at this point, just because... I don't really need a Seamoth. I'm not really trying to do anything up here closer to the surface anymore, so... What do you want? 
partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. Suspicious. Yeah, it's not even worth it to build a new Seamoth. Or, well, yeah. Not even gonna bother. Let's see. I wanna grab the. Oh, that's the grapple. Benzene, titanium. Yeah, I got all that. And then I'll drop off the excess. Yeah, I think I got plenty of uranonite. I just gotta get around to making the freaking thing. You know the thing, the thing that does the thing. Can't believe that fucker did that to me again. Missing. Or, no, what? Grappling. Oh, the benzene and the wiring kit, that's right. I think the benzene, yep, right there. Too, so I can turn some of these guys into jerky. Just because I got an overabundance of salt, so I might as well. At one point my PDA told me not to eat the infected ones, and I don't know how they got infected in the first place, but I can only assume I'm the one who infected them, and it doesn't really make a difference anyway, because I am sick. Yeah. There's not really much I can do about it. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Can I upgrade it from inside, or am I gonna have to? Yeah, I'm gonna have to disembark. Then I can stick that in there. Now I've got a grappling hook. No clue. Oh, I probably just. Um, I don't actually... 
actually know where I want to go next. I did not plan this far ahead. Well, while I'm on here, I've probably got a couple of upgrades I can afford to do. Uh, Cyclops shield generator, that'd be a good one to do. Uh, efficiency, already got it. Ooh, that's right, I wanted to do the thermal, but I still need the kyanite, and that's why. That's right, okay. And in here, I'm just gonna save one more time, because if my Cyclops goes, or my Prawn goes, that's gonna take way too long to make a new one, and I'm just gonna reset, because fuck Engine that. Powering up. Just gotta figure out which way I wanna take. Because this way it's got those Reaper Leviathans, and I think I can handle Reaper Leviathans a little bit better. The other way has got the Ghost Leviathan, and you can usually skirt by them pretty easily. But, uh, the thing is, is it's just I get tangled up too easily in the, uh, blood kelp stuff and everything over there is kind of what creates the problem with the, uh... Okay. With that, uh, one other entrance that I was wanting to make my base at. So I think if I go down here and I just get lucky and don't run into any of the stupid-ass Reaper Leviathan, I should be good. And then even if I do, I got the grappling hook on my, uh, prawn now, so I can probably just grapple onto their faces and just grind away at them. I'm actually half tempted if I do see one, even if they don't attack, I just want to kill one. though. Yeah, there it is. No, there. Keep on speaking too soon. No, it's somewhere around here, though, whenever it starts getting deeper. Oh, wait, maybe this is it. I'm just at the decline into it. Yeah, there's the blood kelp, and the blood kelp usually leads into the Lost River. I was trying to find, there's supposed to be an entrance to the Lost River, actually, like, really close to the, uh, escape pod, uh, the life pod, whatever you want to call it, even, but I couldn't find it, and it could just be that while I was messing around in the safe shallows, I didn't have any of my depth modules, either so I couldn't go deep enough to find the, uh, Lost River. But I wanted to make my base, like, right in the mouth to it. I've been wanting to just... That's basically been the goal, is to make a base right by the Lost River. That way, if I ever have to bail out for any reason, I don't have as far to go. Alright, so these are brine pockets, but this isn't the river yet. I think it's this way. because that's the brine waterfall. Or, yeah, it's a... Yep, here's the river. I can just start going down this way. 
It's actually relatively, I do say relatively peaceful in this part of the river. Now, I know I can't go all the way down just yet, but I need more resources from down here. I need a uh, kyanite and nickel and uh, one other thing that you can only find when you start going deeper to uh, get the better depth modules, so that way I can make it all the way down to the final part of the uh, game. Because right now I'm limited to about 900 meters, which gets me literally, like, just, just outside of where it is I need to go. This right here... Oh, have I built my... No, I forgot to do that. I was going to build a radio inside of the Terrain Cyclops. Indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Indeed. Oh, nope. I forgot there's a Reaper Leviathan down here. I do think I can scan that skull, though, so I want to go over there. I'll just, uh, park my Cyclops a little bit further away so it doesn't get messed with. I don't mind the Ghost Leviathans as much. They aren't as mean, but they do some pretty serious freaking damage, so... I try not to piss him off. I don't actually know that I can scan this particular skull. Oh, you know what I forgot to bring down with me? I forgot to bring the, uh artifacts with me, which I'm probably gonna regret. Oh. Can scan it. I think that's the sound of the reaper trying to eat my ass. Nope, it's a river prowler. Are these things? They are. Craw clap, or crab claw. Both of them sound like a type of STD. on my way down. I, uh, don't think I brought spare batteries down with me either, and I do have the recharge fl fins, but those are mostly just so I don't have to change my Sea Glide battery there and all that great for keeping other stuff alive. How deep am I? Oh, I'm already almost at my limit. There was just one very particular thing I wanted to see while I was down here. I think I'm getting closer to it. aren't a threat. I think I can scan that.
Interesting. Oh, that's hot. I thought I had a heat-resistant thing on, though. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. That's the way they described it to me. Uh, providing physical and enhanced survival and extreme, so I guess that doesn't just prevent me from taking the damage, I guess. I don't know. That's dumb. I think if I go up through there, that might actually be the way that takes me back to the safe shallows. Which... I'm gonna try to take that on my way back up, just so that way I know where it is, and there's what I was looking for. And this is gonna come right down on the edge, I'm not gonna be able to go down to the bottom or anything, but... You have infinite dive distance, it's so dumb how you don't take any damage whenever you're free diving. I really wanted to scan this. Because I read about this while I was... He's here. Ghost Leviathan eggs. Is this stuff harmful? Is this brine? Ooh, this isn't brine. That's an unloaded chunk, though. <laughs> Are you gold? Ooh, titanium. I might bring my prawn down. Or wait, no. I'm like just... just below where the prawn can go. So my prawn's got the same depth as my cyclops right now. Oh, is that actually a lithium? Oh, I guess the lithium can come in big chunks like that. Picking up some magnetite while I'm down here, though. Wait, what? Oh, nickel! That's one of the things that I need. I think I need nickel for the Cyclops depth of module upgrades. I... I might also need it for, uh... the prawn, but I just, off the top of my head, I know it's for the Cyclops. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot, though. There's definitely a lot of magnetite, though. I'm gonna stock up on that. There's that. The nickel looks so much like sandstone, too. It's gonna be so easy to overlook. That's nickel. I mean, it's got a slightly different shape. It's almost like got a lima bean shape to it. I just need one more. I'm gonna go up to get air first. I just need one more nickel, and that'll be enough to get my, uh... I'm pretty sure it'll be my final depth... No, it's gonna be like the second to last depth upgrade on my Cyclops. And then I'll be able to take the Cyclops just all the way down, but... I don't really care as much about the Cyclops as the Prawn, just because the Prawn can kind of defend itself, the Cyclops not as much, and things get scary down here. Alright. 
What does it have to say about nickel? Yeah, I think... Oh, I won't be able to even view it. Uh... Or is this just prawn upgrade stuff? Cyclops upgrades, uh... Oh, it's not even gonna show me in here. I'm gonna have to go back to my, uh... Modification station to see. Oh well, I still... I do know I need one more piece of nickel, and then I need a bunch of other stuff that I don't have yet anyway. Or... I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly I'm missing. I just know I'm missing a bunch of stuff. But if I can find that last piece of nickel, then I'll be able to upgrade it just a little bit more. What is... I'm scared to go into it. I mean, I've, like, used this as a cheat to, like, uh... These unloaded chunks, I've cheated and used it to get down to cave systems faster, but... I'm already at, like, almost the bottom. I'm kind of scared what'll happen if I dive down into there. Especially free diving, because... I can only be down for so long, and I might not make it back out. Oop, there's Nickel. Okay. I mean, I'm going to just float ahead just to see you. Why? Oh, because of the cove tree. What can I look forward? This is looking like it's turning into a lava zone. This all looks like obsidian and stuff. I don't know about obsidian, but like some kind of lava rock anyway. Type, is that titanium? Yep, titanium. So much titanium down here. If I had a little bit of a... My prawn had slightly better depth, there's actually enough titanium and lead. I could build a new base down here. Unfortunately, I can't go this deep, though. Alright, I did not mean to go this far out. It's going to be a little bit close getting back to my Cyclops. Come on, I need to get back to the MacGuffin. time, actually. No need to panic. Just sometimes it seems like you're going so much slower than you actually are. Just, just enough. I think it's funny how it goes from the toxic brine to that blue stuff and it's just completely harmless. I wonder why that is. Does I mean this brine, it makes sense that it's toxic? think it's like brine, it's basically just like 99% salt, it basically just instantaneously dehydrates you, is what it is. Like, talk in realistic terms, I know in the game it just does hit point damage, but 
we don't have hit points in real life. Stop hitting my ship. Just, just fit right. And then yeah, like 900 meters, the maximum depth for the uh, sea moth anyway. So I mean, I like it just because it's a quick way to get around between places and stuff. But considering where I'm trying to get to next in the game, it's just not going to be very useful. Just practically speaking, it's not worth it to make a new one. Wait, am I where I think I am? This looks suspiciously like the other entrance. With the ghost leviathan in it. I might want to be careful. Yeah, I think this is the other entrance that I was wanting to use. I don't see the ghost leviathan though. Oh, there he is! You can see, what I did before is I just kind of... Oh, he's coming straight for me. Uh, or, no, is he going to ignore me? He's not going to ignore me. He is... Deploying decoy. Run. Coming straight at me. Come on, why are you messing with me? The decoy's all the way back there. There you go. piss is that? Oh, that's my old decoy. Oh, is that really still going? I didn't think they lasted that long. But yeah, last time I ended up getting all tangled up in the branches and stuff. And the Leviathan all very, very nearly blew up my Cyclops and then... Ugh. I don't know, I guess it just basically decided it didn't want to... I wasn't worth it, and left me alone, and I managed to wiggle my way out. So, I mean, if I really want to, I might be able to use this. I can probably turn that off now. I could use this as my new way to get in, because this is definitely a lot closer to the, uh, inactive lava zone, and that's, like, the important area. Crap, bastard. If I have to get out and get in my prawn suit, I will. But I would just really rather not. You gonna leave me alone? Yes, okay. Yeah, this is... Imagine if I switch to my camera view probably even see the life pods somewhere around here. I don't know. Anyway, uh, hmm. So I've got the nickel that I need, so I can definitely upgrade the Cyclops again. And get my Cyclops to go a little bit deeper. But I didn't see any Kyanite while I'm down there, and I think that's... Thinking about it, I think that's actually kind of an ironic thing. I think the Kyanite, it's actually down deeper than what I can take my, uh... Prawn suit, and I don't know that it will just grow in the wall in the single chunks. I've only ever seen it as the big giant crystals before. So I might end up having to take, like, multiple trips or whatever just to get Kyanite. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I haven't been down there before either, so I'm really... What? Who the fuck? Oh, it's that other ghost leviathan. Okay, he's leaving me alone. Oh, I haven't even loaded up. Okay, I'm gonna just get a little bit... Okay, I need to load up another decoy tube.
Stop lagging, thank you. Yeah, I forgot, there's another Leviathan that just kind of sits on the outside of the Lost River, too. Uh. Oops. I'm just so tantalizingly close, yet still so far away from making it to the bottom. Now that I think about it. Uh, any of you happen to be dropping any teeth? Oh, yep, as a matter of fact, I see one floating down there right now. Stalkers, on the other hand, I like stalkers. Not, not the weird kind of stalkers. I like these stalkers. Like, they're pretty chill. They don't mess with you too much. Come on, I just saw that tooth. Where'd it go? Oh, is that it? No. Oh. Like, they'll lunge at you every once in a while, but, like, for the most part, they really don't care about you. You can also feed them to make them at least a little bit happier. They're also, like, really, really slow, so it's easy to stay out of their way. Where did it go? I know I saw a stalker tooth. It's gonna bug me now. Want that tooth? No, oh, whatever, it's not that important. I'll just come back if I actually end up needing the stalker teeth. It's not a big deal. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I'm gonna switch to the bottom camera though, just because it's easy to scrape myself up down here. Engine powering down. 
Yeah, did you see that though? 77% holding the slow speed. Thinking that might really be the way to do it. not appreciating these schools of boomerangs just clipping through my base. Quit yelling at me in your gibberish bullshit. steel and I don't actually think I have all that much titanium ready to go. Let me just check. Or well I really don't. Oh and I don't have lithium either, do I? Damn it. Ah uh, fuck. Well let me just put some stuff away. Ah uh, fuck. Need to figure out a good way to stock up on some lithium. Uh, well, actually, what I might do. No, is I haven't really even seen any big deposits anywhere either. I was thinking I could just dive down with uh, my prawn suit, but. That wouldn't really do me any good because I haven't seen any lithium deposits anywhere. Oh, and I don't have my Seamoth anymore, so I don't have a very mobile option either for getting down there. Uh, I was hoping I'd be able to get a little bit more progress done just a little bit quicker today, but I didn't realize just how far away I actually was from everything. It was like getting that Kyanite in particular, that's going to be the real bitch, because I know the Kyanite... I'm pretty sure the Kyanite doesn't start appearing until, like, just below 900 meters. And I haven't ever seen it in anything other than the big giant crystal deposits before. So, that means I have to get my prawn down there. But I can't get my prawn down there until I get the upgrade, which requires Kyanite. So, I'm gonna have to figure out what the trick is for that. But, uh... I'm thinking I'm just going to cut it here, just because, yeah, I've got a whole lot of grinding to do that I didn't even realize, and that's not really any kind of good content to have, so I'll just start streaming again whenever it is I start making some actual progress. I'll probably just come back once I've got all of my uh, depth modules and stuff, so that way I can take this all the way down to the bottom.